In this mini canvas painting tutorial, I will show you step by step how to paint the sea. I can't wait to help you get into painting. As an artist, one of the things I get asked the most is, can you teach me how to paint? Hey, I'm Lori, seascape, landscape, and animal acrylic painter, and I love encouraging others in their artistic journey. Free acrylic painting tutorials are what this channel is all about, so if you're new here, you'll want to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Watch until the end of the video if you want to see some behind the scenes footage. Now let's get into the tutorial. Hello my dears, I'm back and I'm here to show you a, another seascape on mini canvas and I have my husband Jeff with me again this time. Again is right. This is take three. <laughs> don't tell the people that we don't know how to speak and press record at the same time. This is the painting that we're going to get to and the very first step is to tone the canvas with a kind of a corally salmon pink color and it's really going to bring some life and vibrancy to this little seascape. The very first thing after that is painting in the bulk of the, the water and I uh, don't want to make it uniform so as you notice it's all kind of messy looking and some of that coral showing through and a nice diagonal line to show where the ocean meets the sand. Okay, so far I could do this. Yeah. <laughs> and then at the sandy part, I blended it nicely so that it looks like the sand is a bit wet. And up there, that's the mountains in the distance. Yeah, a little different color. And you're mixing it off the side there. Is that a blend of two colors or? Yes, I always blend colors. I don't use them right out of the tube. And then the, the sky is kind of like a a cyan color but quite a bit lighter near the horizon because that's how skies in on the west coast of Canada look anyways and there's the teal uh, dark teal of um, that's going to be the wave that's crashing in and then there's some little ones that have already crashed on the shore that's what um, those shadow lines are right there so if you stop, walk away, and it dries, you come back, and now you got to try and match the colors between the dry paint and your wet mix? No, because you mix more than you need on your palette, and then, um, and I have a stay wet palette, so it, I could just put the lid on, and actually I can come back in two days, and the, the paint would still be wet. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. And you see that neat green color that I'm putting in there? That's the, um, to signify the, the sunlight shining through the wave. And it's quite a vibrant green because that's what um, what happens when the sun shines through waves. And that's the sandy, kind of a beige color to signify the sand. And I'm going to darken the sand right up against the ocean there so that um, it appears wet. Because dry sand is whiter and wet sand is darker. Again, making sure to leave some of that orangey coral shining through. Yeah, I don't have to cover it perfectly. No. So that's, see how the same color that's in the sky I'm putting there on the ocean? That's because the sky reflects off of the surface of the ocean. Yeah, it's so cool. Mm -hmm. And then it also reflects on the sand. That's why I'm putting some vertical lines on the sand. Because when the sand is wet, it actually glistens the same color as what's coming in the sky. And this is just pure titanium white to, sh to signify the foam of the wave that's rolling in and um, there is a reference photo I'm working from and I can do a screen capture at the end of the video for anyone who wants to try this very same seascape painting. Yeah, no two will be the same but mm -hmm. it starts from the same photo. Mm -hmm. now, how many brushes are you using there? I'm actually just using one brush. It's a little knife edge, pretty small little knife edge brush. They're nice and sharp. They have a nice sharp edge that you can do skinny lines one direction and fat lines the other direction and you can use the tips, um, the corners, as like almost little, kind of just to make little dots. Yeah, it's subtle techniques that make the difference. And right here I'm just adding a few different versions of the teal and the, and the white and vertical and horizontal lines and smudging it out quite a bit. Some of it is foam that's um, getting onto the sand and then some of it's actually reflection. And so just kind of working at it, just looking at the reference photo a lot and and trying to mimic some of those shapes and and lines that I see on the reference photo. Cool, so that's a two by two canvas that you get in your Etsy store. It's actually a three by three inch oh, three canvas. By three. 
and I sell them in my Etsy store, yeah. And you're using natural light there? Mm-hmm. I'm almost finished, just doing a few more little touches. And so that's kind of a nice, quick, easy way to, to show you how this painting goes together. I have a lot of other videos on my channel, over a hundred, and um, about half of them are wow. real-time painting tutorials. And the real-time ones, um, there's some that are an hour long so that you can literally paint along step by step. I'll show you the colors I'm mixing and talk about the names of each one. And so if a person wanted to paint along and really learn um, the process, they could go to my channel and have a look. Well, you just learn anything on YouTube these days. That's awesome. Thanks for uh, showing me that. Thanks everyone for watching. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe. I hope you hit the like button if you're still watching. And I'll always have more videos for you. Check back next week and the week after and the week after. Thanks for listening. Well, you're on your way to learning to paint. Here's where I get some of my inspiration. We don't often get snow where I live, but we did this week. I was raised in a place that has snow most of the year, but I'm more of a beach and warm weather person. So even though it's pretty, I can't wait until it all melts and springtime returns. See you next time.